I wanted to introduce you quickly into Cisco's video integration into Microsoft Teams. Um, I have a simulated Room 70 Dual here, which I can use to dial into my video meeting by just go to Reasons. You can see the Touch 10 at the bottom right. You can see the Microsoft Teams desktop, which is the host of the meeting at the bottom left. Uh, you see a window popping up, which says like, okay, I would like to have somebody else join the meeting. Then the person is joining the meeting. I make sure that I go on mute. I have the main speaker on the left hand side now of, on the screen. And on the right hand side, I have the remaining speakers in grid view. I can see on the top right of the Touch 10 who is all participating. I can see if they are muted or unmuted. I found quite a few cameras in my environment, so I yeah happy to have those uh, done. Then on the left hand side, again, speak on the right hand side, the uh, remaining participants. I can go ahead and share content here off the screen. To make it a little bit uh, more enjoyable, I use a PowerPoint presentation to share and not the Microsoft Teams session itself. So you can see now the content is on the right hand side. On the left hand side is the main speaker large and the remaining participants at the bottom as a so-called film strip. I can then uh, go ahead and say, okay, I know the content already, so maybe I don't want to have a focus on the content. I can minimize the content as well. So then it will show up on the left hand side as a small window only. I can also move this content wherever I want and I can go ahead and maximize the content again. So it shows up in large. And there we go, users at the bottom as a film strip. If I don't like this view, I can change it. I can like scroll through the various options I have. For example, the focus view, the speaker only. Then I have this um, prioritized view. So the speaker is a little bit larger and the remaining participants are like around the speaker. Then I can uh, also move to grid view, which is like the standard view for many people these days. I have the speaker large in this view and the other participants at the bottom without the other participants eating into the main speaker view. And then I can go back to the film strip view, which uh, uses the full screen for my main speaker. The cool thing is also, I, I don't really know um, who put, which participant used what device to join. I can quickly stop sharing and then you actually can see, okay, so, which participant joined how so I can identify like maybe I have a oops I have a camera up here that would be my Mac mini I have a camera here that would be another uh, desktop device then I have a camera here that's my iPad and I have my surface laptop on the left hand side here so just maybe for you to get an idea on, on on the quality of this. Also, of course, sharing is working as well. So I can share whatever I have connected to my endpoint as well to the meeting. So that was it. Thank you very much. I hope it was useful and it recorded. And uh, yeah, see you soon.